Hello, so I got a question about levels in Unreal Engine and why do we create levels? Levels are useful for many reasons. So when you create your Unreal Engine project, there are many components to this project. There is the architecture, there is the furniture, there is the foliage, there is the landscape, there is the lighting. And in most cases, in bigger Unreal projects, we have people who are collaborating on these projects. So creating levels in the most basic way it will allow multiple people to work on the same project simultaneously. Of course, there are more things to set up and to be aware of. For example, we use Perforce or version control. I used to use Dropbox in the past for very fast sharing between like two people or three people. To open levels, we need to go to window and find levels. I also, in architectural projects like this, when I export from 3ds Max, let's see, I have uh, my layers, so they will be handy in isolating levels. I'm gonna press Ctrl space and under maps, I'm going to create a new folder and I will call it sub levels. Here I'm going to make a new level and I'm gonna call it furniture. We will see how many levels we're gonna add. Architecture and the world. To add these levels to our project, since we have levels panel open here, I like to duck it here or if you have it anywhere, you can simply press Ctrl space, click and drag these levels to your main persistent level and they will be here. Something very important to know for now and for future, here you see like little blue dot. This means that this level will load when we tell the engine to load it using blueprint. And we can change the state of that. In most cases, you may want to change this from the streaming method from blueprint to always loaded. So levels, they also allow us to keep our project at runtime optimized and at higher frames per second. So level streaming volumes we can add to our Unreal projects and through this we can through the level blueprint or blueprint actors load and unload. In this scenario we have a big project, two villas. When we are here there is no need to load anything related to the villa here and vice versa because they are full of details and many other objects so for better experience in runtime this is one of the main reasons we use levels going back to our project here we have these three levels we can simply put this here and let's see right now notice that the current context architecture and if i click on any actor architecture is a new map we've created it will say the selected actor is in the persistent level here. When I select an actor, you're gonna see your actors and in what levels you are active or what act, what levels your actors are at. Um, to make a level active, so right now if I click like escape, just deselect everything, you can see here the current level is main maple main version 5, which is this one here. If I double click on M18, this will be my current level and so on. So double click on any level to turn it into the current level and you're gonna see it in bold and in blue. And just to show you real quick here in this scenario, I can hide my furniture. Let's go back to our other project and let's see more examples on how can we easily organize these. Now let's say architecture. If it's easy to select my architectural elements, which is th Thankfully, it is. I can right click this folder, select all descendants, isolate my view, and this is the architectural model. A couple of days ago, I got a question about how we name our assets, our projects, and what is the logic behind it. I'm going to make a video about that, but the rule of thumb is exactly what you just saw here. I was in two, five seconds able to select my, my folder here because it's called architecture isolated it took me just a few seconds it's best that you start you set up your project like this from the start that will make creating these levels much easier so right click and move selected actors to level and right now it will tell you hey there are some data math actors or whatever stuff or groups let's just apply to all and move everything if you are working on a large project it will take some time so leave the engine until it finishes you can tell if it's frozen or not by hovering your mouse on top of these and you will know, okay, it's frozen. So we'll be back. All right, I got another dialogue and it says the following packages were fixed up because they have soft references to renamed object. This is great. And it did something automatically for us. Fix up redirectors. And it's extremely important. In Unreal Engine, if for any reason you are deleting a folder, 
or moving a folder from place to place or actually not deleting. Yeah, actually both, deleting or moving folder. After you do that, you need to right click the folder you moved or the root folder of that folder and click on fix up redirectories. Now, I'm going to unhide everything and I will hide this layer or this level and everything about architecture is gone, which is great. I can have some one for the environment and I would move the landscape there. I would move the foliage as well. Foliage stuff, I will select my foliage stuff. And I did that by a shortcut I have. I have multiple shortcuts if you noticed how I isolate my stuff or unisolate or selected the foliage like this. From here, select, you have many cool stuff and you can go to the editor preferences and set shortcuts. I also have tutorials on how to set shortcuts so you can find them in the description. Now I can move this here and I can select this tree. Actually, these trees I wanted to delete from the start. So let's just select them and delete them. I can hide this to check what I have for the environment or what's left that I forgot to add. And in this case, we have these guys here. So we can do that again. So yeah, I hope you have better understanding of levels and how you can work with them. Here you can create folder, so check it out. So if you found this useful, let me know in the comments. Let me know what questions you have. Stay hydrated, have a nice day, and I will see you soon.